Now, sometimes we say that the ego is the one that's judging negatively. What would you like to say about that? That is probably the source of it, but the ego is an important part of all this journey here on the earth. Mm -hmm. Explain a little bit about the ego. Yeah, yeah. The ego is really important. Um, I know you are. He's, he's, the ego is sitting over there going, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it's, what are you going to let control you? You're in control, not your ego. Mm -hmm. So, if you want your ego to be in control, you'll experience that. And then you can come into awareness of that and decide you don't want the ego to be in control. So you experience that. See, it's just a game. Mm -hmm. But the ego doesn't have to be in control. It'll, it'll relinquish its spot, especially when it knows you're just acknowledging it, that it's there. Mm -hmm. You're aware it's there. And sometimes it does some pretty good things, so cool things for you. What kind of things does the ego do for you that helps you out? Well, it can just maybe signal a warning for you. Mm -hmm. um, if you think you're going to be in danger, and maybe you're not getting a subtle message, so maybe it brings on a message of, look out! Mm -hmm. um, and it, at first glance, it's fear, and it is, but then as you can look at that and experience that and decide, well, I don't need to react in fear. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you go ahead with the fear. Again, it's just a game. It's a game. We're all playing it. And we all play it really well here on the earth. This is a great, great board game. Mm -hmm. It really is. But this is what it's meant to be. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that at this time, things are changing a lot. We've been told that this earth is ascending. Things are changing. What do you have to say to Kathy today about the changes that are happening? Is there you are ascending. Everyone can ascend mm -hmm. as they choose. The ascension is not a physical ascension, but if that's what you believe, there you are. Mm -hmm. This is your choice. But the ascension, in the larger perspective, is each one ascending in their own time, in their own way. Here's a good example. And we love the example you gave Kathy before because she can relate to this. Mm -hmm. You know, you go in, you plant the garden, you till up the soil first, you prepare it, and you go in and you decide what you want to plant. And everything ripens and is harvested at different times. All these different fruits and vegetables, the trees, would represent the different people. And some seeds were planted different times than others. And so there's going to be a harvest at different times for different people. Even within, for example, Kathy will relate to this. Um, they have a row of blackberries. And they're all blackberries. And they're the, all the same variety of blackberry. But they all come in at different times. And you're not going to go in and harvest one that's red. You're going to wait till it gets to the peak of plumpness. And she goes up and she looks and she eyeballs that blackberry because she knows the best time to pick it is right when those little nodules are plump, but not when the bugs have gotten on them and started eating away at them. There could even be a bug on there, but it hasn't started eating away at it. But that's the time to harvest it. There might be one right beside of it that's not ready. It has not come into its own. It's not ready. She would have dreamed of picking and eating that blackberry. So the ascension is like a harvest. So in its time, when it's ready, it will happen. And so we, and you, and all of us, can focus our attention on becoming the best, ripest blackberry we can be. And when it's time for us to be harvested, picked at perfection. And by the way, you need to eat them right when you pick them. That's when they're the best. Kathy knows that. That's, that's when it happens. That's ascension. That's, and that's the event for you. Mm -hmm. 
But whatever you believe, that will be the event for you. Mm -hmm. It really is so important what you believe. And we honor what you believe. We work with what you believe. So everybody has a different idea of what the event is, of what this harvest is. Mm -hmm. Is there one event? Yes, for each person, there's Mm -hmm. one event for that Mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. And they have so much to do with that event. It's not something that's going to come up on them Mm -hmm. and overtake them. They will be ready for whatever event comes to them. Mm -hmm. There, there, There are no words much more for this because it is not a scary thing. There is no fear in this at all it's but it will be noticed you will notice it within yourself you will feel something different but it is we want we just want to say to everyone it's no fear no fear and Kathy doesn't fear about this either Mm mm-hmm She's read the book of Revelation multiple times, and this event is likened unto it by some, but there is no fear in it. There is just love. That's what Revelation actually means. It's revealed. Mm -hmm. Something gets revealed to you. Mm -hmm. You ascend. When that revelation comes to you, you ascend. And it's, it's simple, and yet it's not simple. I really don't have some words for all that it is. Mm -hmm. It's rich. It's much deeper than even what I've just described, but Mm -hmm. it's rich, very rich. So in describing the blackberries, is there a physical event that we're picked off the branch? Or is it something that is just a different knowing within us? It depends on the individual. If you believe you're going to be picked off and your desire is to be picked off Mm -hmm. and harvested and used for blackberry jam or whatever, (laughs) if that is what you believe, Mm -hmm. our desires are so important. And I use the word our because we are speaking to Kathy, but we are not separate. Mm -hmm. This is so important that every one of us know on this side of the veil on that side of the veil all of us that we are one and what affects one affects another wherever you hold your fear it is felt wherever you hold your love it is felt what do you want to add to your life's experience do you want more love or do you want more fear? You decide, and we will honor your choice. We did good. We did good. Oh, thank you. We did fantastic. So, tell me how it felt. Otherworldly. <laughs> oh, gosh. There are really no words. I, I really don't have any words. Mm-hmm. It was far beyond my expectations. But the only expectation I came with was just I would get what I needed. Mm-hmm you know, for now, for where I'm now. So if you would like a session with me, just go to albawyman.com, go to my out of town page. That's the only way to get an appointment with me. Subscribe to my newsletter and it will tell you where I'm going to next. Right now we are in Asheville, North Carolina and a beautiful place. The weather, a little bit cold for my taste. <laughs> Maybe Hawaii would be better for there me. There were too. snow flurries this morning. There here. was snow here today. And so, if you would like a session with me, it'll tell you where I'm going to next. The newsletter will have links, and you click on that link, and it'll bring you the calendar for that city. So, that's the only way. I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. And I hope you liked this session. I certainly did, and I learned a lot from it. Bye. Give me that. Give me that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh.